Scott Walker concedes governor's race. Sheboygan County voter turnout tops 80%. City of Sheboygan passes 2019 budget. These stories and more on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. Good day, I'm Maddie Fister and this is Community News Review for Wednesday, November 7th, 2018. Wisconsin's Republican Governor Scott Walker narrowly lost his bid for a third term Tuesday to Democratic State Superintendent of Public Instruction, Tony Evers. It was the closest governor's race in the state in decades, so close that Walker's Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Cleefish said before the race was called that they would likely call for a recount. Under provisions of a law Walker signed last year, candidates who lose by 1% or less can demand a recount. Evers' margin on Tuesday was 1.2%. Governor Scott Walker officially conceded the race and released a statement Wednesday afternoon on his website congratulating Evers and thanking his supporters. Republican Representative Glenn Grothman has is being awarded a third term in Congress after he was declared the winner of the 6th Congressional District. Since the 1960s, that district has been in the hands of the GOP. Grothman's opponent, Dan Cole, released a statement congratulating him on the victory on Tuesday night, and Grothman's garnered 55% of the vote. Cole received 45%. Incumbent Republican State Senator Devin Lemahue came out on top in the race against Kyle Welton Tuesday night, picking up 44,677 votes. Kyle Welton had 31,683 votes. That amounted to a 59 to 41% difference. Republican Terry Katzman of Oostburg will continue representing the 26th Assembly District, defeating his challenger, Rebecca Clark, 58 to 42 percent. Republican Tyler Vorpagal will continue representing the 27th Assembly District, picking up 60 percent of the votes. And Corey Riesler has been elected sheriff of Sheboygan County, and he was appointed to the post by Governor Walker late last year when Todd Preby announced his retirement. Riesler picked up 33,642 votes. His opponent, Philip Schaefer, received 18,360 votes. 83% of registered voters in Sheboygan County turned out to cast their ballots yesterday. The unofficial election results from the county clerk's office show that the county leaned Republican last night, with Scott Walker, Brad Shamil, Jay Schroeder, Leah Vukmore, Glenn Grothman, Devin Lemahieu, Terry Katzman, Tyler Vortpagal, all taking more votes than their Democratic opponents. Wisconsin may have a new attorney general to go along with a new governor after Josh Call declared a victory Wednesday morning. <clears throat> Unofficial vote totals put Call ahead of the incumbent Brad Shamil by around 22,000 votes. In his victory speech, Call said that he'll be pulling Wisconsin from the fight against the Affordable Care Act and to work as a watchdog for his constituents. Shamil has not conceded in the race yet, saying he's waiting for more official vote totals before making that step. In addition to referendum questions on medical and recreational marijuana used and school funding, voters in several Wisconsin counties had their say on non-binding issues surrounding the state's dark store loophole as well. Both Portage County and the City of Merrill passed the straw poll question with overwhelming support. 
The same goes for voters in Brown, Green Lake, Manitowoc, Winnebago, and Atagami counties as well. Lawmakers have been trying to close the loophole for several years, but have run into roadblocks set up by big box stores who argue that their property should be taxed as if it is a dark or vacant. Municipalities say that the stores should be taxed at a higher rate because they require more services than a store that is closed. They also argue that the lower tax rate for the stores means residents end up paying a higher rate for their taxes to make up the difference. All told, some 17 counties and six cities and villages support their version of the non-binding referendum. The information will now be passed on to state lawmakers in hopes that the tax loophole will be closed in the coming session. The city of Sheboygan passes its 2019 budget and the vote at Monday night's council meeting was unanimous to pass the $128 million spending plan for the city. Last year's budget came in at a price of nearly $122 million. So the new budget will be up by $6.4 million. As for the tax levy, it is going to be increasing by 1.9%. So the owner of a home with an assess value of $150,000 would pay $1,489. And that is up 19 cents from the last budget. And that does it for this edition of Community News Review. Join me again next week for another recap of our local news. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.